Hey there folks, welcome back for day 26 of the 30 days of banjo. Today we're going to take those chord shapes that we learned yesterday and put them to use in something called vamping. Vamping is just a technique that we use to make chords sound a certain way. It's actually how we get this sound. We're playing chords with kind of a muted sound. So here's how we actually do that. Let's take our G shape that we learned yesterday. The way you're going to do this is kind of like a pinch. You're going to start by playing just your thumb on the fourth string. And you're actually going to lift up your finger just a little bit, just enough to kill the note right after you play it. Instead of letting it ring like this. You want to just let it get cut out. You can kind of think of this as just pressing down at the same moment that you play the note and then letting go. You get to decide how long the note is, so make it short. Then you're going to do the same thing by playing the other three strings the third, second, and first strings, and you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna lift off from the strings a little bit until it kills the notes. So, back and forth. Now, what you might have noticed is that each time I do this, my fifth string rings. That's not a huge deal in the heat of the moment when the whole band's playing necessarily, but you can definitely hear it now. So, if I'm ever doing this in a place where my thumb can't wrap over, then I'm actually probably going to bring my hand down and mute that. That way, nothing rings. Great, right? Otherwise, it's kind of a personal preference, but I prefer this. If I can hear that string ringing, then I like to do that as well. So. What's nice is when we bring this up to C, same shape up here at the 10th fret, our thumb can hopefully wrap around and just touch that fifth string so nothing can ring. No problem. If you don't like that, you can also mute it the same way. But in this case, I actually prefer to do it with the thumb. Great. We can do exactly the same thing down here for the chord D that we already looked at. It doesn't ring quite as much, this fifth string G, but if it does, again, you can mute it. Great. So the real use of these patterns is to use them just like the pinch patterns. They're all quarter notes, one, two, three, four. So we can use them at the same time when you use those pinching patterns. As an example, here's what I would play for Boil That Cabbage Down with this vamping style. But don't worry if you can't do all of that today. I'm kind of packing a lot into this particular lesson because of what we have to get to for the next couple of days. But this is all material that you practice and then apply as it becomes comfortable. Some of these things, it's just not possible to do in a day or even over the course of 30 days, considering all the other things that we have to learn. So remember these and use them for other songs that you end up learning. By the way, the featured banjo player with this lesson is Jason Davis. Jason is a banjo player with the strongest right hand I've probably ever heard and impeccable timing. Played some really great stuff with bands like Junior Sisk and Rambler's Choice, as well as the Highland Travelers. He's also got two great records under his own name, so I hope you enjoy the tracks that I've put in the playlist in the description. Also, feel free to subscribe to this channel and like this video. That's a huge thing that you can do to help me make more of these videos, so if you do that, I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, that's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow for day 27 of the 30 Days of Banjo. Bye.